on, show me your hands. I'm fascinated with stories about duality because I don't think we exist as necessarily one thing all the time. Maybe we're brothers. We're not, we're not brothers. So we're not brothers. It's not about special effects, it's about acting. If the actor is not good, you don't believe it. So in ancient Rome, they gave the people bread and circuses. They kept the populace busy with entertainment. A guy who's a, a history teacher finds an image of himself on a DVD, and he becomes very, very obsessed with the person that he sees in that frame. It's a deeply psychological film, and it's really about the disintegration uh, of, of a man, you know, and, and, uh, and kind of finding uh, what's wrong with himself deep, deep inside him and finding this, this other, this other that is him. Adam is, a, is the lead character of the movie, and Anthony is this sort of, like, vestigial piece that's hanging off of him. To me, it's not so much a sense of really two as much as what is really one. All right, here we go, and good luck with the roll sound. I was reading the script, you know, as a, you know, the first time you, you just look, thinking of the story and the, and the feeling of it, is it dramatic here, is it there's tension or whatever, and, and then when you think of it for a moment after that, you're like, how the hell are we gonna do the duplicity? How are they gonna meet one in front of the other? How is that gonna feel? Now we're gonna I'll use show, a special technology, special Canadian technology yeah. that, uh, look at that, it works. Okay, Jake, come this way. <laughs> so I had to have this C stand with a tennis ball, and then I would go and see on the monitor that we had and find the shot that we had done previously of him and put the, the eye line in the right position. So I was always like giving him the eye line with the Moses, which is the sort of remote control system. It was a very simple uh, machine, just some tracks and we had a real dolly pusher and I was operating the wheels on the camera. So everything felt real. There was no huge machine that was going and that was pushing in. I think that when we do uh, sophisticated movement, it's, it's, it's just, we feel the will of the director to try to make a moment instead of living through the moment, you know? He will do one of the characters and then he'll put an earwig in his ear. They'll play that back and he'll act against nothing, hearing the dialogue in his head, his own voice, and then he'll react off it. Maybe we're brothers. We're not brothers. How do you know? A lot of stress and a lot of concentrations needed to do that. Something happens to the mind when you're watching the movie, and that's kind of what's been happening in my mind this whole time. You know, this sort of strange sense of disorientation. I'm going to disappear from your life forever. Then we will be even. Sorry, man. 